Hey YouTube, what's up? This is Ben from BFOTOG and ShouldIGetIt.com. In this video, I want to show you my go-to black and white editing in Capture One Pro 20. I think it's a very kind of timeless black and white look. You can see if we go back to the original of this image, that's what it looks like. And if we take a step back, that is the black and white effect that I like to go for. It's a very simple technique. I'm going to share it with you for um, the very start a fully straight out of camera file on the D750. And then I will show you the steps to do that. So let's get started. So for this, we'll actually change it up a little bit. I'm going to be working on this shot here, and it's very simple to do this technique. First, what you want to do is do your base exposure adjustments. So I want this image to be just a little bit brighter. So I'm going to bump my exposure maybe about half a stop here. And basically, you want a contrasty image, and then you want more grain in it. So we're going to add some contrast. I'm going to add about 13 here. You can see that also brightened it up, so we can bring the exposure down just a tiny bit, let's say to 0.4. And then what I'm gonna do is switch it into black and white. So we're gonna go to the color tab here and I'm gonna scroll down until I see black and white. I'm gonna enable black and white. And here is where you can get started with kind of controlling a lot of aspects of your image. So if I want to bring the background darker, of course I can grab the blues, I can make this background black, I can make this background basically white. So I'm just gonna leave it maybe a little bit brighter than it was. Skin tones, of course, are going to be in the reds and yellows. So if I want to make his skin brighter, I could bring the reds up. If I want to make it darker, I could bring it down. Same with the yellows here. So I'm going to bring the yellow down a little bit. And you guys can see already from just the adjustments there, that's what we did. So there's a little bit of the adjustment. Now what I'm going to do is go back into my... Uh, exposure tab and I can control the shadows and the blacks here so to add more contrast we can do what we've done in the other videos and we can bring the black levels down we can also bring the white in a little bit right here on the histogram so now you can see we have a much contrastier image already so so there's before if it'll load there's after so you can see the detail in the jacket and kind of the fuzz right here and the darks get a lot darker down there and next what I'm gonna do is add the green so to do that you can do a couple of different things uh, I'm going to do all three steps. I don't always do them. Usually I just go to grain, but we can bring the vignette down. So this is, of course, super crazy, but we can go down just a little bit on the vignette. You can also add a little bit of structure right here, especially if you're working with a male, especially if he has something like a beard or you know a texture jacket. You could do that if you want to add it in certain places. You could do that with a layer mask, but we're going to keep this one simple. And then we are going to go back into our um, menu here, and this is kind of in the styles and presets uh, details tab rather that's what it's called sorry still used to lightroom and what we're going to do is go down to film grain here if you don't have film grain right click do add tool and hit film grain it's going to be right there and what we're going to do is just do a fine grain and add it so i always like to start with doing impact almost 100 you'll see it takes about a second to load it should add some grain here and if we look in you can see that it added grain basically all over the image and if we turn it down, that's without the grain. You can see it'll take a second to load. And now we have some nice grain in the background of the image. I think it looks really good. And so this is basically how to get the look. Now, for this image, I do want to crop it a little bit. So I'm going to grab right here and just bring it into a tighter crop. Hit H. And now I'm pretty satisfied with this image. So that is a quick way to do a dramatic looking black and white, a little bit more old school. So higher contrast, you have grain, you have a little bit more structure. And if we create a variant of this image right here, we're going to do a clone variant and reset it. You'll see that the base image was this right here. So it just kind of looked okay. And the final image is this much nicer looking black and white. So I hope you enjoyed this quick tutorial. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Let me know your requests in a comment down below. And I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching. Peace.